What's going on guys, it's your boy Big Hero Chris back at you with another one. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe, give me a thumbs up, ring the notification bell, hit me up on Twitter and leave some comments in the comment section. You already know the vibe. <coughs> I'm not gonna edit that out. I'm gonna keep that in. Anyway, man, I'm a guy. <laughs> I got your AEW Revolution 2022 predictions video coming up. Um Here's the thing, man. Like, a lot of these matches, I really don't know. It, it's kind of hard for me to predict, like, what, what's going to happen. And that, in, a, in a way, that's a good thing. Like, going into the show, you don't know what's going to happen. It has a, let's, adds, to the level of evil, ugh, adds to the level of excitement, the anticipation, you know, knowing that the card is going to be stacked, knowing that you don't really know which way the match is going to go, which way the outcome is going to go. It's actually a pretty cool thing. There are actually two matches that I know for sure that I'm gonna get right. These two matches are like when you're taking the SAT and you get points for getting your, spelling your name right, right? So we're gonna start with the kickoff show. Um, we got two matches on the um, buy-in the buy-in kickoff show. One match being legit Layla Hirsch going up against Chris Statlander. Um, for this one, I'm gonna pick. I'm actually gonna pick legit Layla Hirsch. Why? I don't know. I don't really care about this feud, but it's cool that official we're getting three matches on the AEW, three women's matches on the AEW show, so that's pretty cool. But as far as like me caring, like I really don't care about the feud. I don't care about who wins or who loses. The match itself should be good, but I don't care. The second match on the buy-in show, this is the one that I'm pretty sure I'm going to get right. QT Marshall versus Hook. Now, this feud has been building up on Rampage with you know qt marshall calling a hook weekly and hook just beating up qt marshall students on a weekly basis so you already know the outcome is going to be hook will beat qt marshall and continue his undefeated streak of like what five and or whatever it is i don't know man but hook's gonna win so as far as the main card goes the next match i'm pretty sure i'm gonna get right is the uh, tbs title match between jay cargill and ty conti Pretty sure Jay Cargo is gonna win. Um, yeah, so like she's like right now like 27 or 28 and 0 as far as her um, undefeated streak. So I think that undefeated streak will continue this Sunday at Rampage. The match should be alright. Like it's not gonna be like a five star classic in the Tokyo Dome, pal. But it should be decent enough, you know, to get the job done. Jay Cargo gets the win. Next match we have is a, a trios match or a six man tag match, however you want to label it, between Matt Hardy, Andrade, oh me, oh me, oh, <laughs> and Isaiah Cassidy going against the team of Sting, his son Darby Allen, and Sammy Guevara. Um, for this one, I'm gonna rock with Sting, Darby, and Sammy. I mean, it should be a pretty fun match with Sammy and um, Darby diving all over the place and Isaiah Cassidy screaming like a little confused bitch. Um, and I think this is going to further the old um, Matt Hardy leaving the HFO and Andrade taking over. And um, this leading to Matt teaming up with his brother Jeff once again. But as far as who wins and who loses, like I said, it's going to be um, Darby Allen Sting and Sammy Guevara. Alright, so the next match is going to be for the AEW Tag Team Match. And it's going to be a triple threat tag team match featuring the team of Jurassic Express, Red Dragon, and the Young Bucks. Now, I'm gonna just go ahead and say this right now. I feel like this is this is gonna start the um, the whole undisputed era versus Bullet Club or Elite or however you want to label it. And I feel like this is gonna start with Red Dragon winning for the first time the AEW Tag Team Championships, defeating the Young Bucks and Jurassic Express. And I feel like they're gonna start like um, the Young Bucks and Red Dragon are start off working together. And then the session, will, they won't be able to coexist, and this will lead to shenanigans. But I think that Red Dragon is going to come out with a win. 
And I'm going to go ahead and skip to the um, AEW Championship match with um, Adam Cole versus Adam Page. Um, I feel like Adam Cole is going to win the AEW Championship. And like I said, this is going to start the whole um, Undisputed Takeover, the Undisputed Era, or whatever they're calling themselves nowadays. I'm hearing like different names. I'm going to just call them the Undisputed Era until they have an official name of their group. They're going to start their, their takeover of AEW. And of course, this will lead to Kenny Omega coming back. And I'm thinking that this is going to be a feud of the Elite with um, Kenny and the Bucks going up against the Undisputed Era. And I th pre I'm pretty sure for some reason, Adam Page is going to be involved somehow. Like, involved in the whole feud going forward because you have all the members of the Elite and the Bullet Club or whatever. But yeah, Adam Cole is going to be the new AEW World Champion. All right, so next we have Brian Danielson versus John Boxley. Um, this is one of the ones I'm kind of torn on because of the story with Danielson wanting to start his own group. He wants to team up with John Moxley, and John Moxley is not really opposed to it, but he's like, "Yo, we got to fight first to see if you really are talking this talk or if you're just saying this just to stay away from me or whatever." But I am gonna go with. I'm actually going to go with Brian Danielson to win. I don't know why. I don't know how. The match itself should be fine. But I do think that Brian Danielson will pick up the win. And do I think him and John Moxley will team up together? I don't know. I'm kind of like back going back and forth between that. But I do think that um, Brian Danielson will start up a new group. I think it will involve all the dudes he named, the um, Wheeler Yudas, the Lee Moriarty's, and the Daniel Garcia's. I think they will form a group. I don't know if that will involve John Mosley, maybe Cesaro will show up. I don't know. But yeah, Daniel Bryan is going to win. Um, the next match is going to be Chris Jericho versus Eddie Kingston. This is a match I'm really looking forward to. Chris Jericho looks like he's getting into a lot better shape. Um, but. Even though Chris Jericho has abs again, I don't think that'll be enough to stop um, Eddie Kingston from winning. I think Eddie Kingston's going to pick up the win because you had a lot of talk of Chris Jericho saying that Eddie Kingston can't win the big one. And like I said in the reaction video I did a couple weeks ago, um, you you guys remember back to when um, Chris Jericho was about to win the Undisputed Championship and the big talk was Chris Jericho can't, can't win the big one and it ended up winning. He ended up beating Chris, um, Stone Cold and The Rock in the same night to become the first ever Undisputed Champion. And I feel like with the long-term long, long -term booking and storytelling that AEW loves ever so much, I feel like Eddie Kingston will be the one that ends up winning the big one. Because I feel like it's way past time for Eddie Kingston to get a big win in AEW. Because like, every feud he's been involved in, like every big time feud he's been involved in, he's lost. So I feel like this will be the perfect opportunity for Eddie Kingston to get that win against Chris Jericho. So there we go. All right, so next we have Dr. Britt Baker, DMD, going up against Thunder Rosa for the AEW Women's Championship. Now, before this past um, episode of Dynamite, I knew for sure that Thunder Rosa was gonna win because Britt Baker's title reign has been kind of mid. I mean, it was cool to see her, the, the um, rise of Britt Baker and to see her win the championship, but she hasn't really done every, anything since winning the championship, so I think it's time for a new champion, is what I was thinking, but this past week on um, Dynamite, you had a tag team match in, in which um, Thunder Rosa pinned Britt Baker, and if you apply wrestling rules and logic, that means that Thunder Rosa is not going to win. But then again, AEW does its own thing. So, ah, man, I still think that um, Thunder Rosa is going to win. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going to go with that. I'm going to go with Thunder Rosa winning the um, AEW Women's Championship. Because like I said, man, Britt Baker's reign has been lackluster. I mean, she is still one of the best parts of the show. One of the most overacts in the company. But her title reign, uh, I don't know. Alright, so now we have the Face of the Revolution ladder match to see who will become the new number one contender to take on the TNT, TNT champion. And I'm also, I'm recording this before um, Rampage, so you do have a triple threat match for the TNT championship between Sammy Guevara, Darby, Darby Allen, and Andre, uh, damn it, <laughs> damn you Jim Cornette, Andrade, and 
I'm just going to say this right now. I think that Andrade is going to win somehow. I think Andrade is going to be the new TNT champion. And you also have on Rampage, you're going to have a, uh, let's see who's going to be in the final spot. You have a match between Ethan Page and Christian Cage. And I think Christian is going to win to be advance into the um, TNT ladder or whatever. Because Christian really hasn't done a lot since coming into AEW. Like he had a few with Kenny Omega. He won the Impact Championship. And he's been hanging out with the Jurassic Express. And he had a six-man tag team match like a few months ago. But ever since then, like he hasn't really wrestled. He's just been a background character. He's kind of been like the manager of the Jurassic Express. And you haven't really seen him doing much. Which sucks because Christian is one of my favorite wrestlers of all time. And it sucks that we haven't seen him wrestle in this is like his first singles match in months. So I think Christian is going to win to advance into the um, face of the Revolution ladder match. Do I think he's going to win the ladder match? No. I'm kind of torn between um, Keith Lee and Wardlow. Um, I'm going to lean more towards Wardlow because we've we've been seeing the whole tease of Wardlow turning on um, the pinnacle him possibly beating the hell out of Sean Spears and MJF. You've seen that tease over and over again and the fans are really starting to get behind Wardlow more and more even when he does the Powerbomb Symphony and even on this past week on um, Dynamite you had um, him facing off against Sean Spears and like him getting it in Sean Spears face and then MJF slapping the piss out of him later in the night. So I feel like now is the time for Wardlow to you know take that first big step into becoming a single superstar, you know, becoming that next big superstar. And I feel like he's going to win the Face of the Revolution um, ladder match. And I wouldn't mind my uh, major voice crack there. But I wouldn't mind him seeing him become the new TNT championship. TNT champion to see how that dynamic will play with him and MJF going forward. So that should be pretty interesting. So, to me, this match right here, I don't think it'll be the main event. I think the championship match will be the main event. But this match right here, bruh, this match has been the best built match in a while. But the feud between MJF and Steven Punk, this whole feud, one of the best things going on in wrestling right now. Um, And this is one of those the main matches I'm really torn on because... You already had MJF beat CM Punk technically twice in Chicago. So technically CM Punk should get his win back, but does he need to get his win back? I don't know. Should MJF win? Maybe. I don't know, man. I'm torn. I don't know what to do. Um, I'm going to just go for broke and say that I'm going to say CM Punk's going to win. I'm going to say CM Punk wins, gets his win back over MJF. Because you had um, MJF get the best of him. Like I did the reaction video for the whole um, MJF CM Punk segment in which CM Punk, CM Punk was on a bloody and beat up and battered. And MJF saying that he's the devil and all that. So I feel like CM Punk just needs to get that win back and whoop MJF's ass. Because even though you had the whole promo with MJF making you feel sympathetic for him in his situation, you still want to see CM Punk get his hands on MJF and just beat the hell out of him and just get his revenge for all the shit that MJF started because MJF is a horrible person and that's all I have to say about that. So yeah, man, those are my predictions and my thoughts on Revolution. I'm really excited to see the show. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section below. Of course, as always, I got Ricochet back. He's alive. Good for you. Anyway, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Are you excited to see AEW Revolution? What do you think, man? Let me know some of your predictions in the comment section below. Of course, as always, like, comment, and subscribe. You guys take care. Be easy. I'm out. Peace.